What's going on my friends, it's your friend Jack here and today this is going to be a short video on me talking about the value of what you should be doing with your print demand income if you don't know or if it's just extra money coming on top of your full time job. What can you do with this income to really maximize its use and also I just want to advise the people out there who haven't been advised of it yet that Putting their money somewhere that isn't just a savings account is a really good idea. And I'm going to talk about this more later in this video. So stay tuned. It's not going to be long, but let's get right into it. So basically in today's video, we're going to be talking about investing. And when I say investing, I don't mean yoloing all your money into Tesla or putting all your money into a cryptocurrency because I do think some of these options can be quite promising. However, I don't think you should take huge risks with your investments. I think personally, it is better to take a like, mitigate your risk, lower your risk um, with your investments and have them play out a long term compounding effect. So you can be more or less guaranteed some results. And you can also put your money in more risk your investments that's up to you but i just want to tell you guys if you aren't investing your money into something it's a really good idea if you just have money sitting in your bank account to start a plan to put in x amount of dollars into some type of investment portfolio every single month this is going to allow you to basically build up a stash of um, basically money and when money is in the stock market or even in crypto I wouldn't put too much money into crypto if you don't already have money invested elsewhere it's really a personal preference on what you want to do but if you're gonna invest in something make sure you understand what you're investing in that's my pretty much biggest uh, tip I could give I'm not a financial advisor by no means is this financial advice it's just kind of educational entertainment purpose content but still my opinion for entertainment purposes is that I would not put all my money into crypto, especially if I know nothing about it. And also, I would do my own research about stocks that I'm interested in or companies that I really like. Um, I don't think it's a bad thing to put your money into crypto, but I think you should know what's going on with what with your money. You should know what you're doing with your money. You shouldn't just blindly follow someone else, um, even if they are very convinced that things are going to work out right, because people have different reasons for doing things, and you don't always know those reasons. Now, if you're completely lost and you're like, how the heck? I don't even know how to put money into cryptocurrency. I don't even know how to put money into the stock market. Well, there are a few ways you can do this. If you're Canadian like me, you can use a broker job called Well Simple Trade. It's pretty much the only one in Canada that's commission free, meaning you can buy and sell stocks and they will not take a cut of the commission as long as you're buying and selling stocks You know, in Canada. Um, you can trade stocks um, that are US based for me if I'm in Canada, but it's going to cost me that, you know, currency conversion fee. If you're in the States, you have a huge opportunity on your hands because the United States has the, you know, biggest, most profitable stock market, um, you know, in all of the world. It is a huge place. The New York Stock Exchange and all the stock exchanges in the United States side of things are huge. And basically you can get an app like Robinhood or there's a few more out there that I don't know, but I know Robinhood is a pretty good one. You can log onto that app, verify your identity, deposit money onto that account, and your money is insured up to a certain amount. I believe it's a couple hundred thousand. So they're trustworthy apps that I'm mentioning here. And you can invest in the stock market, uh, you know, for a small, small fee. I don't know about the Robinhood fees. Well, simple doesn't cost any fees, but the there be currency conversion fees. Um, but yeah, you can invest in the stock market just like that. You can go onto these apps, find the stock you want. Say you want to buy Coca-Cola. You could buy that. You are now own part of Coca-Cola. And what you can do with the money from your Redbubble profits, or your print demand profits, you take that money and instead of spending it, if it's just extra money, put it in an investment account um, in something that is more, you know, less riskier. Maybe it's a company you like that pays um, dividends every three months or it pays you pays out for how many shares you will hold basically every x amount of months depending on the company whether it be you know multiple companies that you like or what i would advise if you have no idea what you're doing go ahead and look at the s p 500 um, voo is the three letter taker symbol if you don't know what that is and go ahead and take a look at that one because that is basically comprised of 3500 companies that are you know constantly being switched out based on the people managing this ETF or the fund 
and you can put your money over there and you're pretty pretty well off um, that this this basically one stock has 3,500 companies so you're really diversified and this stock is going to grow over time um, at about you know eight to twelve percent per year where if your money's sitting in a you know a savings account this is the kicker and if you guys have no idea what I'm talking about with all these terms if you get confused at any point leave a comment below and I will help you um, kind of get your foot in the door to start investing and start learning more about financial education because I'm all about that but basically what you can do is put your money into this one stock which tracks 3,500 other companies. They basically have 3,500 other stocks inside the stock, and you're buying into a small portion of each one. Normally on the stock market, you can only buy a complete share, so you would actually be able to get 50% of a Tesla share. Um, but with these you know, managed funds, you can put your money in there, and you're gonna beat inflation pretty much 10 times out of 10. It's not 100%, nothing's really 100% in the stock market, but your chances are very, very high, and inflation, if you don't know what that is, it's pretty much um, the rate that the government prints money, whether it be in the States or Canada, your inflation rates are a little bit different. They're pretty similar usually, but that's how much the dollar is going down in value because the more money we print, the more money uh, doesn't, isn't worth as much because there's more in circulation and so on and so on. I think you understand what I'm saying here, but that's how it works, right? That's how it works. And if you want to start investing you can do that today um, I have an investment ch investing channel that you can go check out um, it's more geared towards Canadian investing but I, I am posting a lot of content over there that is helpful for pretty much every single person um, you know in North America it's still very relevant the only difference is I use uh, a couple Canadian investment accounts that call the tax-free savings account the states have an equivalent essentially of it's called a Roth IRA so you can almost put those two side by side. They're very similar, same purpose, um, tax free is the goal of both of them. But yeah, I give out knowledge and if you guys wanna ask any questions about investing, I will do my best to answer them. I'm no pro myself. This is all for educational purposes or entertainment purposes. But yeah, I just wanna throw that out there. If you guys haven't started investing or you thought about it, it's the best time to start is today. And I have a video on my other channel talking about why today's the best time Definitely recommend checking that video out. It shows the power of compound interest. But essentially, you start today and you are 100% not going to regret it. And yeah, you could start with simple, something as simple as up, you know, putting one share into the S&P 500 um, managed by Vanguard. You're going to be well, very well off. And yeah, if you guys want to know more, once again, leave the question down in the comment. I will answer it. But I wanted to put this video out there for people who are wondering about investing or have no idea. And that's all I have for you guys today in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great freaking day. With all that being said, my other channel will be linked down in the description. If you want to check that out, feel free to do so. It's all about investing and finance. So if you're interested in that stuff, definitely check it out. But love you guys. Peace out. Keep striving and stay blessed.